Hey, brand new at Ancestry DNA is their product they call SideView, which really is kind of separating the maternal side from the paternal side, the mother side from the father side, okay? This is also known as phasing, okay? Now using DNA and nothing else, they're not using our trees, they're not using the data that we've said, this is mom, this is dad. They're not using the grouping that we have been so diligently doing, but now they have enough data, enough DNA, enough test takers out there to be able to show us one side from the other in our DNA ethnicity estimates. We're gonna talk about all of that uh, coming up next. So, oh, wait a minute, before we go, I wanna tell you um, that they have also updated our ethnicity estimates, but not the regions, all right? All right, my name is Connie Knox. I am a lifelong genealogist here to help you go further, faster, and factually with your family history research. Now, subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notified each time I upload a video. Genealogy TV has a website, a newsletter, and a Facebook page. Links for all of that are in the show notes below. I would like to make a comment here. Ancestry is not sponsoring this video, so your support is appreciated. Um, and there is a handout for this episode. If you want the handout, you need to be joined at the information access level channel membership. You can click the join button to do that, or you can join us on Patreon, uh, and that's at patreon.com forward slash genealogy TV. We'll talk more about that at the end of the show, how you can get uh, the handout. All right, now this is really the start of something great. I think at this point, Ancestry is just scratching the surface, okay? We got some good stuff coming. All right, so right now, uh, they have now added the ability to see our father's side from our mother's side in our ethnicity estimates. We're gonna talk more about that here coming up, but just know this, they've got a 95% accuracy on uh, those that they're able to uh, group. So now that their database is big enough, um, they are very confident in, in their ability to do so. So we're gonna talk about all of that coming up. This is some really cool stuff. I have to say when I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this might be a game changer for some people. So let's jump in. We're here on the computer. And the first thing we want to do is go to the DNA tab, and then we're just going to click on your DNA results. And for me, this is the page I come to. Now, this new feature is called Side View, and it is located in the DNA story. It really doesn't have anything to do with DNA matches just yet or through lines. We're going to get into all of that right now. So we're going to click on Discover Your DNA Story. The first thing you see is the typical window that you normally see when you come here. For those of you who are just seeing this for the first time, there is a new button up here. You can hit discover now, or this might not be showing if you've done this before, you can scroll down to this ethnicity inheritance and it says your parents each contributed half of your DNA, right? Remember this is autosomal DNA. So 50% come from mom and 50% come from dad. And um, now you can see the ethnicity uh, inherited from each of your parents. So here is you, right? And it says inherited from parent one and inherited from parent two. Well, that's not everything. Let's dig in because we can see exactly what's going on here. So we're going to click on this view breakdown button. And once we're here, we can see on the left hand side, this is the DNA from parent number one and parent number two. Now, right now it doesn't tell me whether that's my father or my mother, okay? And then here is how it, it is made up in with you. So right now everything is selected, but we could click into, for, for me, uh, England and Northwest Europe. So if I click on that, you can see that I get a little bit from parent number one and a little bit more from parent number two, which makes up this part of my pie chart for my DNA, okay? If I click on another one, it's gonna add one, but I'm gonna deselect uh, England and Northwest Europe so that I'm seeing just Scotland. And now you can see that on parent number one, I have Scottish ancestry, but on parent number two, I have no 
uh, Scottish ancestry. So let's look at Sweden and Denmark. So I'm going to take off Scotland and now I have just Sweden and Denmark and you can see parent number two is showing Swedish and Denmark but parent number one is not showing anything and of course this is the total makeup for me. So I know for a fact that my father's side of the family came from Denmark, part of them. Uh, so I know that parent number two is my paternal side and parent number one is my maternal side because obviously parent number two, if that's my paternal side, then parent number one has to be my maternal side. Okay, so we can sit and play this game. We can play with all of the different... Uh, so I, my mom's side then would have something from Ireland and let's look at Germany. It looks like my father's side would have a little bit of uh, dramatic European. All right, so let's take a look at this. I'm going to click all again so we can take a look at the whole thing. Isn't it pretty? This is kind of cool. You can uh, share this view by clicking the share button and send this out, but I want to show you some more. You can also download it, by the way. But what I want to show you is down here. All right, so now here's the detailed comparison. Now, now it shows me for, now we know that because what I told you before with Denmark, right? Swedish and Denmark, I know comes from my father's side. So now when I come down here and I look at Swedish and Denmark, I can see that 22% comes from parent number two. Now, before you ask, future upgrades is going to allow you to label parent number one from parent number two. On this first launch, it's not available. But sit tight, it's coming. All right, so we've got uh, Swedish and Denmark at 22%. And so you can see how much of the contribution from each parent. So in parent number one is my mother. So I'm getting 13% from her and 25% of my European and Northwest Europe, uh, or excuse me, England and Northwestern Europe 25% is coming from my father, 13% is coming from my mother, which makes up a total of 38%, right? So 50% plus 50% is 100%, right? So now we're looking at Scotland. I'm getting all of my Scottish ancestry, all of that DNA is coming from my mother's side. All of my Sweden and Denmark is coming from my father's side. A little bit of Ireland coming from my mother's side and a little bit of Germanic Europe coming from my father's side. So this is really exciting stuff. So future upgrades are coming. Not only will you be able to label the parents, but you will also be able to label some of your DNA matches. So that stuff is coming. So one of the things that I want to um, caution you about, as with DNA, remember you're only getting 50% from each side of the family. So that means you're leaving behind 50% that you didn't inherit. And so Ancestry really wants to make sure that everyone is very clear that this is not an estimate of what your parents' ethnicity is. Because if you think about it, uh, they only inherited 50% from their mom and 50% from their dad, leaving behind 50% that they from each parent that they didn't inherit. So this, you know, they're, they're like adamant to make sure that everybody understands that this is not an indicator of the percentages for each parent. Um, so unless your parents have been tested, uh, keep that in mind. Now, in my case, my parents passed away before uh, DNA was even a thing. So this is really kind of neat um, in that um, we can now start to separate and think about it. Let your imagination run wild. So Ancestry says there are more features coming. And with over 20 million, well over 20 million test takers as of this recording, think about the possibilities going forward. If they can separate one parent from another and then we are able to start labeling, right, one side from the other, then collectively Ancestry, I'm guessing, can look at all the DNA from all of us and start to piece together a bigger puzzle. So um, they promise there are more features coming 
they're keeping a tight lid on it right now, but they did say that we would be able to label the parents and soon we would be able to label some of the uh, DNA matches. Um, now we remember we still we have the grouping. We have been doing grouping for a while and I have a lot of episodes on how to group your DNA matches. Let me just give you a quick peek at the grouping where we can group our uh, DNA matches by color. I use warm colors for the mother side and cool colors for the father side. Um, but uh, you get the idea. So we, if we're going to be able to start adding more labeling to uh, our DNA matches, I think it's, you know, it's really a game changer. So keep in mind, one of the things that they're doing is they're using all of our uh, cousin matches all the way down to about eight centimorgans and they're grouping them, not the groups that we're doing, but they're separating out those cousin matches from the father and mother side based on the commonalities of the DNA networks, right? So when, when, now we've been manually grouping them, right? But when, um, our cousins, when they're looking at the DNA of all of our cousins, there's commonalities in those DNA and they're saying, okay, this is the father's uh, network and this is the mother's network group of DNA matches that have in common, group of DNA matches that have in common. Now, there are some limitations. Keep in mind that uh, families that where the father and mother are related, maybe they're second cousins or something, they're going to, they're saying that there are some uh, families that are not going to be able to be grouped, especially in endogamous relationships. And so they think that about 50% of the DNA cousins will be able to be matched. And if you're not familiar with the term endogamy, it's where, especially in groups, um, where I, Pacific Islanders, Jewish communities, communities where, um, people married within their own clan, um, they often, will have crossover DNA from both sides of the family. So in those cases, they're going to have a little bit of trouble separating that out. Um, but with time, you know, things will improve as well. But for the most part, they're using our DNA cousin matches to really kind of take a look at who is sharing DNA in our cousin matches and putting them on one side of the family and who's sharing DNA on the other parental side and grouping those together. So uh, I just wanted you to be aware that if for some reason that you are not seeing groups from one side to the other, it might be that there is some crossover in the DNA from your parents. They may be related. You got to love technology and science and innovation. This is just really cool stuff. So as a reminder, again, you get to it from the DNA. Just hit the DNA uh, summary and then you can go to discover your DNA story and then scroll down and you can see it here click the breakdown and there you have it. Some new tools to play with. It's called side view. There's some help features over here. Honestly, you know, it has some more information, a little bit deeper dive, but I pretty much told you everything you need to know. And then you can, uh, you know, share it out to social media or you can download it. I just downloaded it. And when it, when it comes into the download, let me show you, this is the screenshot from the download there. If we go back up here, we hit share and we can hit download. I think this, as of this recording, it hasn't been released yet. So there's a few links that aren't um, completely uh, working yet, but you could certainly take that screenshot that you download, copy it, and then send it out an email, put it on Facebook, whatever rocks your world. But I think this is a huge step forward. So especially for those who uh, may not know one side or the other, like they may not know who their father is or their mother, or they were adopted and they have no idea who their parents are. At least this starts giving you some clues as to the ethnicity and then from there you could start, like for example, um, my father is uh, Danish. So if I didn't know who my father was, then I could start looking for cousin matches who have Danish ancestry. You know, there's all kinds of different ways to sit there and start playing with this. If you just uh, kind of open your mind and, and explore. That is uh, the ethnicity inheritance. It's called side view, although I don't see the name around a lot. Splitting the DNA into one side from the other, 
huge kudos to Ancestry. There are three ways you can get the handouts. Now, the first way is to join the channel membership here at the information access level channel membership on the YouTube channel, and then go to the community tab and you'll find the posts that have the handout links in there. All you have to do is follow the link and download the handouts. Okay, now the second way is over at Patreon. Now at Patreon, if you're at the happy dance level or higher, uh, you can get the handouts. Those come directly to you in an email every time we announce the new video that has a handout with it. You'll also get early release with that membership. All right, and then the third way is just to go over to genealogytv.org and click on the handouts tab and you can find all the handouts there for individual purchase. So uh, I hope that was helpful. The handouts really do support the channel and for that, I thank you. Wow, Ancestry side view. Now, you know, with 95% accuracy, you guys, that's kind of a game changer. All right, well, I hope that was helpful. You know what? There are more videos on the screen for your binge watching pleasure. So we'll see you in the next one. All right, take care, bye-bye.